Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verse that we're going to be looking at is Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 through 4. And it says this, About that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called the little child to him and put the child among them. And then he said, I tell you the truth. Unless you turn from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. So anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So who's the greatest? For most of us, most of the time, we don't actually think that we are the greatest. Outwardly, some of us may act like it, but we all know our own hidden secrets and all the ways that we are uniquely messed up. We also don't tend to think that we're the worst either. In fact, a lot of us probably feel most comfortable when we know that we are somewhere in the middle. In the verse we read earlier, Jesus was asking the disciples to be humble about themselves, and humility is not thinking less of yourself. It is thinking of yourself less. And when we compare ourselves to others, we often fall into this comparison trap. See, when we compare ourselves to others, and we think that we are better than them, <laughs> we only have uh, uh, two options. Uh, we can judge ourselves as better than them, and when we do so, the only thing that we can feel is pride or arrogance at how superior we are. And the other outcome, uh, when we compare ourselves and judge others as better than we are, is that it can often lead to depression and false thoughts about our own self-worth. See, neither of these outcomes are, are healthy, and I think that this is what Jesus was driving at when he encouraged them to be humble as children. The disciples wanted to know which one of them was the greatest. And Jesus took that as an opportunity to flip their definition of greatest upside down. So my challenge for you today is to stop yourself when you start comparing yourself to others. And instead, compare yourself to where you were and how far you have now come in your walk with God. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.